Welcome to this episode of DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, uh, we're going to take a quick look at mounting this current gauge on this laser. So, uh, I've printed out, uh, designed this uh, faceplate in OpenSCAD, uh, printed it out, and you can see it receives the meter. And then what we're going to do is we're going to cut an opening up here um, to receive the meter. So, what I've done to mark this up uh, and, and also reduce some of the marring on the actual laser housing itself is I've used some just blue painters tape whoops, to uh, to cover it up and so what I'm going to actually do is I'm going to lay this out so I'm going to you know measure side to side make sure I got this this centered and then mark it out so I can cut it out with with a Dremel so um, Let's go ahead and do that on a time lapse and we'll take a look at that. Okay, we've gotten this far, so what I've done is I've hooked up the meter now, and in the last episode, or not the last episode, but in a prior episode, I showed how to connect this. So, in short, what you want to do is connect the ground, which runs to the power supply, to the negative, and then obviously the hot or positive side will go to the cathode from the laser tube. Now, I put these crimps on here um, just to make mounting to the laser easier. I could have wrapped the wires around, but this will give a, a, a more secure fit and, you know, the pieces, we don't want this coming loose. So uh, let's go ahead and mount this up. Okay, so we're back. We got the uh, meter all mounted up in the, in the cutter, engraver, whatever you want to call this thing. So... Uh, uh, let's kick this up and hopefully you can see that. I'm going to tilt you forward a little bit so you can see the meter. I'm going to hit the test fire button a couple times so you can see it moving up. So putting out 10 milliampers. So uh, then we kick this up a little bit higher and see it go up. So it's nice to actually have a, a meter where you can see the reading rather than this um, uh, just down here, this percentage. So, you know, before I showed you could how you could extrapolate, you know, in other words, you know, take this measurement, compare it to that, and then, you know, change the percentages and just kind of record them and have them off to the side. But this actually gives a nice um, way to, to watch it run and also see what it's running at. Now, one of the other things I, I did do is, uh, see this black uh, adjustment here? This is how you zero the gauge. And matter of fact, I probably need to do that a little bit uh, with it just sitting here. So you take a screwdriver and you just, until this zeroes out. So uh, it's a little bit to turn it. But anyways, uh, what you do is you adjust it there. It's a better one. So you want to turn that to get that dead on to zero as you're looking at it. So uh, now it's adjusted to zero and again you want to do that for your tests and you can see it running. So anyways, um, hey if you found this interesting give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, a lot more coming on this. Um, so hopefully you found this interesting. Cheers. Please click like below and subscribe to the channel to keep up to date on all of our projects.